way of teaching and learning is out the window. Paula Tutman takes us on a tour and shows us how this revolutionary new way of teaching will change the entire area. So just for a moment, I want you to think about when you went to high school and what you probably did was you showed up at school, you went to your locker, you pulled out your books, you went to the same classes at the same time every single day, and then you probably went home and you talked to your parents about how you were bored at school. I think kids today would tell you that's so 90s. Start with the fact that they rarely carry books, pardon me, they now carry laptops, and now they're actually working in spaces like this. Now I want you to look at this list. Enter the new academies at Romeo. I love it. The campus is more like a small city with three different academies as neighborhoods. Business entrepreneurship and innovation is one. Design, engineering, and manufacturing is the next academy. Health, human, and public service is the third. And students get to think about their future and plan their curriculum and education based on their interests. There is curriculum that they have to learn. You know, the Michigan Merit Curriculum is that. So the traditional learning happens, but we've gone wall to wall with allowing kids to pick a career lens to learn through and giving them a lot more independence and relevance in their learning. So take Emily, who at 14 years old actually already owns her own cupcake company. Cupcakes by M. One day she wants to own her own bakery and teach culinary arts. And so in her academy, she does take her core classes, but also in her area of interest, has the opportunity to venture into other areas of learning that prepare her for college and beyond. With how this is all set up, I can be in the child and development class, which is in the health and human services pathway, but also be in culinary arts, so much I love. Tyler has a different story altogether. No, college really isn't for everyone, and I knew it wasn't for me. He got into this new way of learning at its inception. Welcome to the real world. Met professionals already working in the trades he was interested in. They came in as his teachers. Everything I learned there, I use every single day on the job. He impressed them, won them over, and had a $53,000 a year job waiting for him at graduation last year. Oh, he has no student debt. And should he decide to go to college, his employer will actually help him with the costs. You'll be financially stable. You can do whatever you want, pretty much. Should a student not be sure what they want to do? Really, I just don't know where I want to go yet. No worries. The learning opportunities are as flexible as the mind of a teenager. Students are no longer locked into one set curriculum, where one size really does not fit all. And of course, because if students don't feel safe and secure, they really don't learn as well. Take a look at this alternative learning space, which is an all year round coming out on a full acre of an interior court. The entire thousand square feet surrounds it. When kids are here, Karen, it is a fortress. And every kid I talked to said they love coming to school. I can totally understand why that alternative space gets you thinking creatively and out of the box. We appreciate you sharing that story. Thank you, Paula.